Luo Tiani slash Lu Jingling slash Yan He slash Hatsune Miku slash V Home slash Vocaloid slash Virtual Singer slash System slash Broker slash Singer, Keyword, Pass, Book Friend Group. 19077508, Welcome to Chat, Sadly Prepared. More than 30.100 chapters are the author's dark history. I beg you all, if you don't like it, please keep reading. After 150 chapters, we will start the main storyline. Since I didn't expect so many bad things to happen when I wrote it at that time, I won't make any changes. That's it. The traveler Wei Cheng arrived at a different world. This is to certify that the system has been successfully loaded and the task of publishing has begun. What? Do you tell me that Luo Tiani has become a real person and that you want me to help her become a famous singer in the universe? What? Is there a virtual singer in this world who can also use magic? But. The system, at least you should return the memory to me first. This is a story of an agent who loves to die and pretend to be coerced, fighting alongside a singer. Keywords of the Novel Universal Song G Assistance System Without Pop-Ups, Universal Song G Assistance System TXT Complete Collection Download, Universal Song G Assistance System Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Blocking the Journey of Memory You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Blocking the Journey of Memory The scorching sun shines brightly on the bustling city, adding a touch of vitality to the bustling crowds. And somewhere in the city, in a quiet park, a man rubbed his slightly dizzy brow and woke up. Compared to the surrounding streets, this park presents a eerie silence, with lush trees swaying in the wind, but the proper bird singing cannot be heard, as if it does not exist in this world. In an instant, a black mist appeared from the center of the park, and a black shadow emerged from the mist. In an instant, it passed through numerous streets and shot towards a certain direction on the ground. After the black mist appeared in the park, the man, on the other hand, opened his slightly confused eyes from somewhere in the city and murmured to himself. What is this place? Why am I here? With slightly grey-black hair and deep black pupils like starry sky, coupled with a standard suit and tie, the man was perplexing his situation. He vaguely remembered that his name was Wei Cheng, a perfectly normal person. However, as a normal person, he seems to have just experienced an incredible experience. That feeling was like. A soul leapt out of the void, quickly collided with itself, and merged with itself, becoming a fusion between two souls. After organizing the scenes that appeared in his mind, Wei Ching felt a bit confused. Is this. Crossing over. And what kind of strange thing is he playing soul merging? He hasn't even heard of it. Can you still operate like this? As Wei Ching learned about his background, he couldn't help but feel some interest. Although he learned that he was a traveler, what kind of existence did he have in his past life? With a curious heart, Wei Ching turned his mind to something strange about the past that had crossed his soul before entering this past. I only felt a strange invisible force, as Wei Ching was about to recall the past and present, forcefully pulling him out of his memories, blocking those that should have belonged to him, leaving Wei Cheng with only a blank mind. Sleeping trough. What was that just now? Sensing that his memory was suddenly blocked, Wei Cheng opened his eyes wide and glared fiercely at a line of red slogans that suddenly appeared in front of him. Warning. As the specified task has not been completed, this part of the memory is temporarily closed. Memory can only be released after the host completes the current task. This should be the so.called system, right? It came really fast. As a qualified traveler, Wei Cheng reflexively thought of the system in the novel and the tasks it published. So he didn't panic at the moment, but instead began to carefully study the font in front of him. If Wei Cheng's prediction is correct, this sudden appearance and blockage of his memory system should have some rules. As long as he completes the system's requirements, he can unlock the memories of his past life and know who he really is. Thinking of this, a thought drifted through Wei Cheng's heart. This time, 
He did not recall his past life experiences, but tried to recall the memories he had in this world, trying his best to obtain all the information about this world. He felt as if he had fallen into darkness, floating beside a huge planet, watching everything happening from an observer's perspective. Subsequently, Wei Ching withdrew from his memories with a gloomy and uncertain expression, and fell into contemplation. Stars fall. Singers rise. What's going on with singers, star spirits, warriors? And magic that originates from singing. Originally, the world Wei Cheng is currently in is not much different from the original world. The industry that needs to develop has developed, and the countries that need to progress still do so, which is another replica of the earth. Everything was fine here, but when Wei Cheng magnified his perspective and began to gaze at the world with an observer's gaze, he had unexpected gains. At the beginning of the 20th century, energy known as sound energy erupted around the world, carrying music energy from other worlds and spreading throughout the world, thus transforming the entire world. At that time, governments around the world were shocked and conducted various tests on the areas covered by the mysterious energy called sound energy, but no abnormalities were found. As time passed, this incident gradually faded into the eyes of the world. It was not until 2007, when the first batch of singers were born, that they once again received attention from the world. The so dot called singer refers to a human who was bathed by the sound energy and gave birth to special abilities during that event. It is rumored that anyone who is bathed has a certain chance of becoming a potential singer, which means there is an opportunity to become a singer. Are you talking about a singing queen? Yes, that's right. She is indeed the kind of singer who uses her singing as the source to bring people various dreams and light, and the same goes for singers in this world. However, what shocked Wei Cheng was not this incident, but the uniqueness of the singer in this world. In Wei Cheng's memory, the singer in this world had a powerful means to mobilize her vocal energy and turn her singing into magic, which can be said to be a towering existence similar to a mage. When a singer reaches a certain level, she can even expand her own field and vocal range. As long as the range is expanded, everything within its coverage cannot escape the control of the singer, and even things like controlling life and death can be done. When Wei Ching finished reading these pieces of information, he said he was dumbfounded. In my impression, those soft, cute and adorable virtual characters have actually become earth-shattering and in control of everything in this world. How can Wei Cheng not be confused by this fact? However, just as Wei Cheng was still shocked by everything he knew, the red slogan in front of him suddenly changed. Confirm that the user has a preliminary understanding of their world, the newbie gift package task is completed, the host's first ability is unlocked, and the tasks to be completed. Task 1. Find a singer named Luo Tiani from outer space, assist her in escaping the current crisis, and make her an official singer. Task deadline. One month. Task reward. 1% of the user's past life memory when the system usage permission is enabled Luo Tiani. Isn't that the first popular virtual singer from the V family born in China, and also a cute character with the title of China's largest foodie? The first task is actually about Luo Tiani. At the moment of receiving the task, Wei Cheng's mind flashed with some basic information about Luo Tiani, ignoring the private data of the female circumference. The rest were not far from the Luo Tiani that Wei Cheng had originally known. However, I didn't expect that by simply browsing through my worldview, I received a beginner gift package and unlocked my first ability. It seems that this system that blocks my memory is not that bad. Wei Cheng thought this way and stood up, but when he saw the small black text below the floating font, the slight liking he had for the system disappeared without a trace. If the user fails to complete the task within the specified time, it will be considered as a task failure and forced to enter a cycle, enabling an unlimited task system, hello, that's too harsh. As for this, Wei Ching almost couldn't help but curse out loud. Leaving aside the difficulty of the task, after understanding the world, Wei Cheng had a clear understanding of how difficult it was to make a potential singer awaken to become a singer, let alone achieve it within a short month. 
Moreover, from the system's description, if the task is not completed by then, Wei Cheng will really be thrown into reincarnation and become a free labor force. He does not want himself to fall into such a situation. Anyway, let's first confirm what the so dot called first ability is. Pushing the restless thoughts out of his mind, Wei Cheng reached out his hand and whispered. Manifestation, Soul Lock. Black energy emanated from Wei Cheng's right hand, instantly enveloping the entire right hand and solidifying into a long, blood red chain that wrapped around Wei Cheng's body in a special way. The Sorrow Soul Lock is a top notch spatial magic tool. Any enemy entangled by this chain will be forcibly pulled into a space crack and turned into debris under the strangulation of numerous time and space flows. As long as you hold the soul lock, its controller will receive a blood boost, which will increase their combat power by 10% to 20%. However, due to side effects, this boost can easily lead to a state of blood consumption, so be careful sure enough, as Wei Cheng revealed the red chain, he felt a wave of evil energy rushing towards him. The chain on his body was like a red dragon, swimming with its teeth and claws open, trying to devour his consciousness completely. However, as he was about to be devoured by the blood dragon on the chain, Wei Cheng smiled slightly and tightened his right hand holding the chain. A powerful divine soul power emanated from his body, forcefully dispersing the evil energy attached to the chain and completely mastering it. What a great weapon, it's just right for saving people. Weighing the chains in his hand, Wei Cheng looked towards a certain direction in the city. At this moment, his originally dull black pupils seemed to be shrouded in mist, deep and not directly visible. Is it there? Wei Cheng whispered in such a low voice, and then his figure disappeared like a ghost, heading to the location where he sensed the anomaly. End of this chapter Chapter 2 First Battle Rescue Luo Tiani You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 2 First Battle Rescue Luo Tiani As the black mist left the tranquil park, it seemed like it was targeting a target, and a few ups and downs disappeared into the sky above the city. At this time, somewhere in the city, there was a grey-haired girl clutching her head with a symbolic plate, staggering out of a strange spaceship in the shape of Zongzi. This girl is the target of Wei Cheng's trip, Luo Tiani. Um. I'm really dizzy, Tian Jian. Can you tell me where this is? As a singer from outer space, Luo Tiani immediately recovered from the impact of the just forced fall and asked the Zongzi shaped spaceship beside. Suddenly, the four cornered hull underwent a transformation, transforming into a white, chubby little ball of fur. Two big eyes grew on the ball and jumped into Luo Tiani's hand. I don't know how to pinch it. Although our goal is Earth, it does match the description of Earth in the Sound Star database, but there seems to be something wrong. After the chubby white ball shook its body, a blue beam of light shot out from above, sweeping around and responding with some uncertainty. At this moment, the girl suddenly remembered. Even if this is really good for the Earth, what should I do in the future? When I heard the elders say that after arriving on Earth, I would spread music on this planet and let my own songs resound throughout the world. However, Luo Tiani is now in dire straits. Firstly, he doesn't have the currency of this planet, secondly, he doesn't have the common sense to live here, and thirdly, he doesn't know how to become famous. How can he spread music like this? Although spreading information about himself as an alien may immediately make him famous, Luo Tiani believes that the consequence of doing so may be being used as excellent research material by research institutions first however, just as the young girl was lost in thought, the black figure floating out of the park had already reached the top, instantly locking onto Luo Tiani's position. At the same time, a trace of blood had emerged from the black figure, transforming into dozens of black tentacles, and grabbing the unsuspecting girl. The silent appearance of the tentacles, without any breath fluctuations, is like a dead object protruding from the abyss, making it difficult to detect. However, just as the blood-colored tentacles were about to touch the gray-haired girl, Tian Jian, who was originally in a lazy state and was lying in Luo Tiani's hand, suddenly felt a chill. 
she immediately protected Luo Tiani with a layer of blue light cover and without saying a word, threw the girl aside. Oh! Tian Dian, what are you doing? Luo Tiani was frightened by his own voice elf and was about to question Tian Dian's abnormality when he saw the scene in front of him. I saw dozens of blood-colored tentacles turning into sharp blades, cutting through the air and silently piercing through the place where she had just been. If it weren't for Tian Dian's quick reaction just now, Luo Tiani would probably have died by now. What is that? Watching the alien monster that suddenly pierced through his location, Luo Tiani couldn't help but burst into a cold sweat on his back. Tiani, run. I won't be able to block this monster for long. While I can still hold it, hurry up and seek help from those around me. A slightly weak and anxious voice rang out in Luo Tiani's mind. It was only then that he realized that in order to push himself away from the area attacked by the tentacles, Tian Jian was now stuck by numerous tangled black threads and pulled towards the black hole in the sky by a strange force. Tian Jian Under anxiety, Luo Tiani called out the name of his own voice elf. But his footsteps were firmly nailed to the spot, with no intention of abandoning Tian Jian and running away. Tiani as she watched her owner, who was unwilling to leave because she was in danger, Tian Jian, as an elf, felt a hint of warmth in her heart. Her blue wings spread out on her back, instantly breaking free from the darkness that bound her. I'm fighting with you. The light blue beam of light, centered around the celestial pearl, illuminated everything within a radius of ten meters, while also covering the dark creatures. Subsequently, a blue beam of light shot out from Tian Dian's plump white body and also hit the tentacles that wanted to pursue Luo Tiani, repelling them. Tian Dian. No. I can't escape. There's no singer who abandoned her elf and ran away. I also want to fight with you. Seeing his voice elf desperately fighting for himself, Luo Tiani's eyes changed. Panic was replaced by anger and the confusion in his eyes turned into perseverance. Luo Tiani's body lit up, and he spread an electric blue wing on his back, flying to Tian Jian's side and fighting against the threat together. However, unlike the combat-style singer, Luo Tiani's vocal ability is mainly based on assistance. Even though she already possesses the power of a potential singer, she is still not enough to fight against the monster in front of her, just persevering. Really, you foodie. Tian Jian on the side seemed to feel helpless, laughing and cursing, and a more brilliant blue light burst out from her round and oval body. Confirm the threat target and activate the annihilation mode an emotionless voice rang out, and a red electric current emanated from Tian Dian's body, instantly flowing through the incoming tentacles. In an instant, a faint blue range centered around two people transformed into a glowing field covering a radius of several meters. In an instant, the entire area caused by the blue light was filled with wonderful melodies, slowing down the movements of the tentacles. Subsequently, the range unfolded, and a mysterious force enveloped the surroundings, causing numerous tentacles to fly and disappear under the blue light. Ha! Ha! By temporarily stimulating your power as a singer, you finally solved those monsters. You're going to treat me to steamed buns in the next few days. Tian Dian, who forcefully activated the power of the singer, was like a deflated ball, lying limp in Luo Tiani's hand, unwilling to move. However, as they resisted the tentacle attack, the eerie black hole not only did not disappear in mid-air, but the aura emanating from it became increasingly terrifying, as if some monster was about to probe through it. What exactly is that? Just as this idea appeared in the minds of each person and elf, a sudden mutation occurred. I saw the black hole suddenly shrink, and a circle of blood-red waves suddenly emanated from the air, forcefully offsetting the blue sound range carried out by Tian Jian, instantly turning the sky several miles around into red. At the moment when the vocal range was shattered, thousands of tentacles suddenly shot out of the hole, turning into red light and shooting towards Luo Tiani. This. The sound range was broken, and the tentacle attack only happened in an instant. When Luo Tiani saw the red beam, the tentacle attack had already arrived in front of her, leaving her with no time to react. 
However, at this moment, another red light flashed through the tentacles that were attacking Luo Tiani, and at the critical moment, a slightly magnetic male voice sounded. Ah! I didn't expect to encounter such a thing as soon as I arrived. Should I say I was unlucky, or did I just happen to catch up? I saw a man wearing a suit, with his right hand wrapped around a blood-colored chain, using the shot chain to crush the tentacle that attacked Luo Tiani. It was Wei Cheng who had just rushed over. At this moment, Wei Cheng's eyes sparkled with black light, coldly staring at the black hole in the sky, and he moved his hands. Wow! The release chain is like a live snake, killing the tentacles protruding from the black hole with a burst of energy, and then swinging towards the black hole in the air with a fierce force. As the chain was about to touch the black hole, a strange and indistinguishable sound suddenly emanated from the hole, causing the entire volume of the black hole to shrink violently, seeming somewhat fearful. Impossible. Are you? Too much talk. Without giving the eerie voice a chance to speak, Wei Cheng shook his hand and the chain scattered in all directions, blocking the retreat of those blood qi and placing the entire black hole and blood-colored sky within the attack range of the soul lock. Subsequently, Wei Cheng pulled up the chain and spat out two cold words from his mouth. Lock the soul. Red lock shadows flowed in all directions, wrapping around Wei Cheng's arm and forming a giant sickle that was about half the length of his body. Wei Cheng grabbed the sickle tightly and swung it towards the black hole. The attack of the giant sickle penetrated space and struck the body of the black hole, causing the entire black hole to quickly collapse. Along with the bloody sky, it slowly faded back to its original blue color under this blow. Sure enough, it's you. It seems like you can't move her today. However, there's still a chance in the future. The eerie voice seemed to understand something, and after muttering to himself for a while, he was completely engulfed in the spatial fissure that appeared out of thin air under the action of the soul lock, bringing the anomaly in this area back to calm. Seeing the black hole disappear due to his attack, Wei Ching breathed a sigh of relief from the bottom of his heart and withdrew the chain wrapped around his arm. Then, he realized that he now had to face a serious problem. End of this chapter Chapter 3 System Activation you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 System Activation That's He has never had the experience of communicating with beautiful girls like Luo Tiani. Although Wei Cheng has intelligence about Luo Tiani in his mind, it doesn't mean he can communicate smoothly with the girl in front of him. Anyway, it wouldn't be wrong to ask the other party if they were injured first, so, that, uncle, who are you? However, just as Wei Ching finally figured out how to speak, his heart immediately received a critical blow. Uncle. Uncle. Although Wei Ching did not accurately estimate his age, based solely on his appearance and past experiences, the age of this body should not exceed 25 years old, and as a result, he was directly called uncle by Luo Tiani do I look so old. Just as Wei Cheng was about to fall into a state of self-doubt due to Luo Tiani's words, he saw a change in the task list in front of him, which displayed The first phase of the task branch, assisting Luo Tiani in escaping danger, has been successful. Partial rewards will be given to the host, and information on how to deal with the correct posture of the singer will be transferred to the host's mind. So, in that moment, Wei Cheng felt like his head was plugged into a cable, and the newly endowed memories flowed directly into his mind, becoming a part of a multitude of knowledge. Suddenly, he felt that he was not so unfamiliar with the grey-haired girl in front of him. However, what left Wei Ching speechless was that these memories were all unorganized and in a chaotic state. If he hadn't experienced a similar event before, he would probably have been in chaos on the spot. Hello, Miss Luo Tiani. My name is Wei Cheng and I am the person sent by the Sound Star to protect you. May I ask if you are not injured? After integrating the knowledge that flowed into his mind, Wei Cheng quickly took care of his clothes, closed his feet, and performed a butler salute to Luo Tiani in a standard posture. Don't be so polite, can I call you Wei Cheng? 
It seemed that Luo Tiani realized that the other party felt uncomfortable with the title of uncle, so he immediately changed his name to avoid offending the suddenly appearing free bodyguard. Of course, everything is up to you. Don't use honorifics, just call me Tiani. It always feels strange to be called with respect. Yes, Miss Tiani. I said, call me Tiani. Yes, Tiani, were you okay just now? After confirming the safety of the gray-haired girl, Wei Ching couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Sure enough, as mentioned in the intelligence just received, although Luo Tiani has a slightly shy personality, she appears very straightforward and easy to get along with when facing people she knows. If it weren't for Wei Ching rescuing her from the crisis and revealing the insider of being a voice star, it would probably not have been easy to gain the trust of this young girl. As an extraterrestrial traveler who has just crashed on the planet, Luo Tiani really needs a good guide to understand this world well. In this situation, Wei Cheng, who knows the true identity of Luo Tiani, is naturally the best option. He he, I'm fine, thank you. If it weren't for you blocking those attacks just now, it's unknown whether Tiani could stand here. After the estrangement between Luo Tiani and Wei Cheng was eliminated, Luo Tiani showed her natural disposition as a young girl, bouncing around and looking at Wei Cheng with a naive and romantic expression. The girl was dressed in blue, and the electronic monoplane that had been unfolded behind her had been retracted. Her emerald green eyes had also faded back from their original sparkle to their original emerald green. Nowadays, Luo Tiani shows no signs of extraterrestrial visitors. If she were to be placed on the street, she would definitely be regarded as a beautiful and peerless beauty. Seeing Luo Tiani's normal appearance, Wei Ching breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. After all, he still has to take Luo Tiani to carry out the mission while waiting. If Luo Tiani continues to maintain her newly transformed appearance, it is really impossible to conceal the fact that she is a singer. Gollum just as Wei Cheng was thinking about how to persuade Luo Tiani to leave with him, he heard a small voice coming from the other person's stomach, which also made Luo Tiani shyly lower her head. Hmm, I'm hungry. The cute appearance of Luo Tiani covering his stomach made Wei Ching laugh and estimated the remaining money on him. Just as Wei Ching wanted to talk to Luo Tiani and assess whether the money in his hand was enough to meet the princess's appetite, he noticed a change in the dashboard in front of him. The first stage task is completed, and the second stage task is initiated. Meet Le Ling and let Luo Tiani stay at Le Zheng's house. The first task is to assist Luo Tiani in becoming a singer, and will continue after completing the second phase of the task. Due to assisting Luo Tiani in escaping the crisis and confirming that the host has the qualification to carry the system, the All Around Singer Assistance System was activated. At the moment the system started, Wei Ching felt as if the memories that had just been stored in his head were coming to life, displaying various images and anecdotes about various singer candidates. And the one that caught Wei Cheng's attention the most was this one. The eldest lady of the Lu Zheng family, Lu Zheng Ling, has suffered from an incurable throat disease, which will cause her vocal cords to lose voice within a year. Only by relying on the strength of the singer can she recover seeing this, Wei Cheng's mind twitched slightly and immediately came up with a plan. Let's go, Tiani. I know there's a place where not only can you fill your stomach, but you can also make new friends. Wei Ching grabbed the girl and headed towards the next mission location. A girl with brown hair, with a big fried dough twists braid and conspicuous silly hair on her head, was walking in the street at a depressed pace. Her face, which was usually full of vitality, appeared gloomy when there was no one by her side. Her red-brown pupils were filled with disappointment. After receiving her diagnosis, Lu Zhengling walked on the street with a lonely face. Originally possessing a sweet soprano, I dreamed of becoming like those famous singers in the future, able to sing freely on stage, with the presence of numerous fans. However, the merciless diagnostic result drove this dream-chasing girl into a abyss called despair. What exactly should I do? If someone else is by her side, Lu Zhengling will try her best to cover up her true feelings and will never show others this feeling of disappointment. However, now that she was the only one around, 
Lu Zhengling naturally did not hide any more, but instead revealed her confusion about the future without any concealment. A girl who loves to sing, after hearing about the music industry, has always dreamed of becoming a singer. However, when she was carrying her guitar and preparing to pursue her dream, she heard this sentence. I'm sorry, but Miss Ling, please give up your dream of singing. We are powerless to deal with your illness, which is a throaty self-exhaustion. Every time you sing high, it reduces the lifespan of your vocal cords by one point. Please don't make high notes again in the future, if you still want to keep your throat when the doctor said these words to himself, the brother beside him had a painful expression on his face. After all, as a family member, he knew best how much Lu Jingling had invested in pursuing music. However, a sudden announcement completely cut off the girl's path to music. Dark clouds were dense, and scattered raindrops hit the eaves. The mist that enveloped the entire city was washed away and fell on the young girl walking alone. What flows on my face, I don't know if it's rain or tears. Today is another rainy day. The dark brown eyes reflected on the cloudy sky, and the girl carrying a guitar said so. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Le Zheng Family You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Le Zheng Family Just as Le Zhengling was crying over the shattering of her dream, two sneaky figures wearing cloaks followed behind the young lady, walking step by step forward. Wei Cheng, you seem like a strange uncle peeping at a little girl now. One of the smaller figures, covering his mouth, was jokingly whispering to the other dark figure. Wei Ching gave Luo Tiani a big white eye and continued to silently follow behind Lu Zhengling. Unlike potential singers like Luo Tiani who can control their musical abilities, Wei Ching found that no matter how hard he tried, he could not master his musical abilities. This has also led to the fact that although Luo Tiani can transmit messages to Wei Cheng, Wei Cheng can only remain mute. Under cover, the two of them silently followed Lu Zhengling for a long distance. About half an hour later, the girl in front of them walked to a mansion, opened the door, and walked in. Oh my goodness! Miss, why don't you hold an umbrella again? What should you do if you catch a cold like this? As Lu Zhengling stepped into the gate, an old man with a butler-like appearance suddenly emerged from the shadows of the mansion, holding a towel and draped it over her body. At the moment the butler appeared, Wei Cheng was slightly surprised. With his vigilance, he didn't notice that the butler was lurking there beforehand. It seems that according to the intelligence, the Lijing Group is a large company that controls numerous instrument transactions and harbors many hidden talents, which is not a false statement. The two stood still, silently watching as Lu Ling and the butler exchanged a few words before entering the mansion without a trace. And the butler named Chen Ying, with a smile on his face, immediately disappeared after escorting Lu Xingling into the house. He turned around and said to Wei Cheng and Luo Tiani at their positions. Please appear, both of you. Following the young lady to our mansion, shouldn't it be just a visit? Oh! Did he find us? Upon hearing Luo Tiani's exclamation, Wei Cheng lightly tapped her head. Fool, I deliberately exposed my aura just now. Otherwise, just the two of us wouldn't be able to break in directly. Subsequently, Wei Ching emerged from the shadows on the roadside, clasping his fists and speaking loudly. It's impolite of us. We didn't have any ill intentions, we just didn't know where the Lu Jing family's mansion was, that's why we came with the young lady. Humph. If you find the young lady of our Luzhing family without authorization, what good thing will happen? You shouldn't be the assassin sent by some family, right? The old man didn't believe Wei Cheng's words at all, and a white aura emanated from his body. He formed a set of sharp claws in his hands and quickly attacked Wei Cheng. However, in the face of the old man's attack, Wei Cheng ignored him and only allowed his paws to approach him, saying, If I say, are we here to help Miss Ling treat her illness? When this sentence was spoken, the silver white claws immediately stopped and trembled in front of Wei Cheng's nose. An incredulous expression appeared on the face of the old man who was close by. Impossible. 
There is news about the lady's throat disease, and it should be a comprehensive external blockade. How did you know? How I know is not important, what's important is whether you want to help Lu Xingling get out of her current situation. Faced with the old man's question, Wei Ching just let out a sneer and looked coldly at the old man who was standing still. This. The old man suddenly fell into a state of indecision. Indeed, regarding the recent diagnosis that Lu Xingling has received and has been hit hard, this old butler has noticed it. If there is a slim possibility of treating Lu Xingling's terminal illness, even at the greatest risk, he is willing to give it a try. How can I trust you to have the ability to treat Mississippi? Although Your Majesty's hidden powers are indeed brilliant, my Mrs. Illness has been diagnosed by many famous doctors, but the results are all incurable. How do you want to diagnose and treat her? Upon hearing the other person's question, Wei Ching just smiled and remained silent, but secretly put the soul lock in his hand. In an instant, a powerful force spread around Wei Ching, intimidating all directions. Since I have come, I naturally have the confidence to cure her. The short sentence revealed unprecedented confidence. The old man in front of him couldn't help but be stunned, feeling like he was trapped in a mist. A huge eye pierced through the void and landed on him, bringing him a deep shock. At this moment, the old man realized that the reason why he was able to discover Wei Ching earlier was because the other party deliberately revealed their breath, otherwise with their own strength, they would not have noticed any abnormality at all. I'm afraid under Wei Ching, he can't even move a single move. However, just as the old man was intimidated by Wei Cheng's aura, a wave of dark green sound energy suddenly emanated from the mansion, dissolving the power emanating from Wei Cheng's body and loudly saying, Let him in, Uncle Chen. Since he said he can cure Aying, let him give it a try. Upon hearing this, the old man was greatly surprised. But, young Master Longya. Let them come in. It was the same sentence, but this time, the deep voice revealed a slight domineering aura, with an invincible force. The old man hesitated for a moment, but in the end, he obediently opened the door and allowed Wei Cheng and Luo Tiani to pass. Faced with such actions, Wei Cheng did not show any affectation. He lifted his leg and led Luo Tiani through the vast courtyard to the front of the mansion. A man with black and white hair color exudes a faint heroic aura between his eyebrows, his handsome face exudes bursts of innate dominance, and his lacquered pupils reveal a faint longing. I saw the man holding a book in his hand, quietly reading it, revealing his unique charm as a leader with every gesture and gesture. The old man following Wei Cheng and his companions immediately showed a respectful expression upon seeing the man, indicating his noble status. Hello, I am the young leader of Le Jin Group, Le Jin Longya. I heard that you have a method to treat my sister's illness. When Wei Cheng stepped into the garden, the man slammed his book shut and looked at Luo Tiani and Wei Cheng with sharp eyes, asking questions in a magnetic voice. Upon hearing this scene, Wei Cheng remained calm and slowly restrained the aura emanating from his body, staring directly into the other person's eyes. That's true, but it's not me doing it, it's Tiani doing it. Hmm, eh, eh, eh. Luo Tiani instinctively responded and then looked at Wei Cheng in shock, not knowing why he said this. Mr. Wei was joking. The sound energy riot that just occurred in the Northwest, as well as the suddenly appearing but suppressed temporal and spatial anomaly, should have been caused by you. With such a divine ability to control space, how could this girl take action? Le Jing Longye just smiled and walked down the steps, looking at Luo Tiani with a playful gaze as she curled up her shoulders. Faced with Longye's questioning, Wei Cheng was not angry either, but simply said calmly. Although my strength is strong, it mainly focuses on destruction and cannot be used to treat diseases. And I advise you not to underestimate Tiani. She is a genuine potential singer, and she is also the kind of potential singer who is likely to become an official singer in the future. You should know what this means, right? Upon hearing these words, Lo Zenglangia's playful gaze suddenly changed. After all, he is very clear about what the singer represents. Even in the music explosion many years ago, 
although there were billions of people bathed in music, fewer than ten Chinese people eventually became potential and became singers. Among them, there are very few who can regulate the potential of sound energy, and they are simply invisible. Even Dragon Fong himself is only able to sense sound energy slightly, and cannot grasp this energy at all. If Luo Tiani really has the power to regulate her vocal energy, then she really has the possibility of curing Lu Xingling's illness. Okay, come with me and I'll take you to see Aying. She should be staying at home now. First, he looked at Luo Tiani with a skeptical gaze for a while. Lu Zenglanjia gave a ha ha and led the two towards the interior of the mansion. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Luo Tiani's Worries. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Luo Tiani's Worries, Wei Cheng, is it really okay? How can I do something that you can't even do? As he followed Lu Zenglanjia along the narrow corridor leading to the room, Luo Tiani pulled Wei Cheng's clothes and asked hesitantly. No problem. Tiani, have more confidence in yourself. You are a singer and can use music to create magic. It's just to cure a sick young lady, there won't be any problem. However, I have never treated anyone before. I heard that the girl named Lu Zhengling is still suffering from a very serious illness. How should I treat her? Although Wei Cheng looked confident, Luo Tian rubbed his hands nervously, not knowing where Wei Cheng's confidence came from. Indeed, as Wei Cheng said, he can sense sound energy and use the energy scattered on the planet to create effects similar to spells. However, whether this power can heal the girl he just met is completely uncertain for Luo Tiani. Don't worry, even if Tiani fails, I still have other records to file, so let go. There won't be any losses anyway. Compared to Luo Tiani, Wei Cheng showed no signs of worry. I also confirmed the task just released by the system, fearing that I might have missed something. In fact, Wei Cheng had no idea whether Luo Tiani could cure Lu Xingling's illness. The reason why he was able to say those words without blushing or panting was all due to a series of codes thrown to him by the silent system during the mission update. In that string of code, Wei Cheng learned. If he had not traveled to this world, then the person Luo Tiani met when falling would not be himself, but Lu Xingling walking in the rain. Due to the moment they fell out of the spaceship, their lips overlapped, and this action directly cured the girl's sore throat. There are still many miscellaneous messages in the code, such as Luo Tiani and Lu Xingling being a pair of CPs called the North-South Group, and they will form a band together, live a happy and happy life, and with the help of a mysterious person, move towards the path of a singer. However, considering the time constraints of this task, Wei Cheng chose to filter out the excess information first, focusing only on the fact that Luo Tiani can cure Lu Xingling. As a result, it became a scene where the two of them followed Lu Xingling and came to someone else's house. Even if Wei Cheng said that to you, I have never done anything special with Yin Neng, let alone used any magic, let alone treat patients. Seeing Wei Cheng in a state of contemplation, Luo Tiani couldn't help feeling a bit depressed and secretly lowered his head. Luo Tiani still remembers that the songs she sang on the Music Star were repeatedly rejected, and it took her some time to obtain the qualification to go out for training. Regarding this treatment for others, she had no confidence at all. Success is never created in a moment. On the original planet, Luo Tiani spent dozens of times more time than others, wholeheartedly dedicating himself to singing. Sometimes even when her favorite steamed bun shop closes, she even goes hungry and sings her own song. It was a common occurrence at that time to try hundreds of times and finally complete a melody that I was quite satisfied with, and take it for the teacher's evaluation. Unlike those who have different talents and have been smooth since birth, Luo Tiani's music journey is built up with passion and hard work. It was precisely because of her uninterrupted singing and practice that she was spotted by Elder V at the end of the year, and she boarded a spaceship to spread her songs in a foreign land called Earth. Perhaps in the eyes of other singer candidates, she is also the kind of talented singer who obtained the qualification to go out for training at the age of 15. According to his own knowledge, 
the Sodot called genius relies on one point of talent and nine points of effort to have the opportunity to reap the fruits of victory and become a leading singer. So, for this treatment of Lu Zhengling, whether it can be successful in one go, Luo Tiani's heart can be said to be very uncertain. Don't worry, there is no dream of success in this world, let alone something that can be achieved overnight. I don't expect you to cure the other person immediately when you see them. Instead, you need to help that girl slowly and gradually with your singing. Suddenly, Wei Ching seemed to have seen through Luo Tiani's inner thoughts and said these words, causing the latter's green pupils to widen in surprise and look up at the man's face. Wei Cheng. As if being diverted from speaking, Wei Cheng smiled and continued. There is no genius born for no reason in the world, although I don't know about your past, I can guess to some extent that in order to become a singer, you must have put in unimaginable effort and a long time, right? If that's the case, then don't hastily say something you can't do before doing something. How can you know you can't do it without even trying? While talking to Luo Tiani, Wei Cheng's eyes were filled with a series of complex emotions, as if recalling many things. He saw a young man who had experienced countless failures, been despised by thousands of people, and finally received the support of only a few people, so he had the motivation to persevere. He sensed that a young girl, even though no one appreciated her, continued her singing and eventually received recognition from her elders. Success is not something that can be achieved overnight, otherwise there wouldn't be so many people failing. After speaking, Wei Cheng lowered his head and secretly observed Luo Tiani's reaction. I saw the girl in front of me, although her emotions were still tense, her hands, which were originally entangled together, silently let go. Thank you, Wei Cheng. I will try my best. With a smile on his face, Luo Tiani put aside his previous worries and turned his attention to the current situation. The originally fragmented steps also began to become comfortable. Obviously, Wei Cheng's words eased the girl's worries. We're about to arrive. Suddenly, Le Zheng Longya, who was walking ahead, turned around and spoke loudly to Wei Cheng. As a young leader of a large corporation, Le Zheng Longya's ability to see people is also top dot notch. So when he saw Luo Tiani's uneasy and lack of confidence in himself, he couldn't help but experience some disappointment in his heart. Thinking about it, I'm afraid that this time Le Zhengling's illness cannot be successfully treated. However, after Wei Ching spoke up, although Long Yit did not turn back, he also sensed a change in the mentality of the young girl behind him. Although not full of confidence, Luo Tiani at this time did not feel any confusion in her heart, and it was the best time to meet Lu Zhengling. A doctor's mentality can also affect patients. When Long Ye sensed the emotional changes of Luo Tiani, his heart relaxed and he led the two of them towards the room where Lu Zhengling was located. I hope you can succeed. While praying in his heart, Long Ye opened the door and led the two of them to a red door, ringing the doorbell. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Lu Zhengling. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Lu Zhengling After Lu Zhenglanjia knocked on the door, Wei Cheng saw a strange sight. I saw this young master knocking on the door of his sister's room, but instead of standing in place waiting for Lu Zhengling to open the door, he quickly jumped back and immediately stood three feet away from the red door panel, right behind Wei Cheng. How did this respond? Just as Wei Cheng was about to ask, a sudden change occurred. Didn't you say, don't come and touch my door casually these days? Stupid old man. A roar came from behind, and the red door was fiercely pushed open. A brown figure appeared from behind the door and decisively kicked the girl standing in front of the door. Ahem, poor Wei Cheng, before he could figure out what was going on, was hit in the face by an unidentified attack. He even let out the barking of a single dog and rolled back a few times, looking extremely embarrassed. Brother, you should learn enough lessons now. Ha! Huh. It's not brother, who are you? A girl with brown hair was standing in front of the door, her fried dough twists braid was thrown into a circle, and her small feet in black socks were raised, maintaining the posture of just flying kick. 
but when she saw that it was not Li Longya who had been kicked away by her, but a man she didn't know, she froze in place. Hi, Aying, I'm glad you're so energetic. But can you maintain some integrity? With your feet raised so high, you'll run out outside. Li Longya, who was hiding behind Wei Ching in time, pressed his chin and spoke to Li Ling in a comfortable manner. Oh, I got it. Wait, buddy, what did you just say? Lu Jingling, who was originally hesitating whether to apologize to Wei Cheng, noticed that Long Ye's gaze was shifting towards the wrong direction. With a stiff expression, she slapped her fist and fiercely pounced on Long Ye. Oh my! How can you just say, fight? At least give me some preparation time. Wait! Le Jing Long Ye clearly did not expect his sister to act so decisively. Unexpectedly, her whole body was pressed to the ground by Le Jing Ling, and they began their daily interaction. On the side, Luo Tianyi stared blankly at Le Jing Long Ye, whose art style had completely collapsed, as well as the brown-haired girl. The young lady from the Lu Jing family. It seems different from what I imagined. While muttering psychologically, Luo Tianyi glanced at Lu Jing Ling, who was interacting with Long Ye, and secretly compared her image with the beautiful girl walking in the rain in his heart. Quang Dang. She seemed to hear the sound of some image announcing its shattering. Just as Luo Tianyi was hesitating whether to help Wei Ching up, he saw the man lying on the ground like a salted fish jump up, as if the person who had just been kicked down was not him. Really, being so energetic is also a good thing. This way, we won't be afraid that Miss Ling won't listen to us because she's sad. At this moment, Wei Cheng looked at the siblings with a silly expression and let out a rather awkward cough. So. Can we discuss how to treat your sister's illness? Mr. Lu Zheng. At this moment, Lu Zheng Ling seemed to have just remembered Wei Cheng who had just been kicked away by herself. She panicked and released Lu Zheng Long's collar, turned her head and bowed to the man, saying. I'm sorry, I was supposed to teach my brother a lesson just now, but I accidentally kicked you. It's okay, Wei doesn't have anything. He has thick skin and flesh all over his body. For me, that just now was completely painless. Faced with Lu Xingling's apology, Wei Ching simply waved his hand casually, looking indifferent. Mr. Wei, are you really okay? Aying is a black belt in Taekwondo, and when she kicks, she has a force of over a hundred pounds. I'm used to it, so it's not bad. Are you really okay? At this moment, Li Jing Longya had already risen from the ground and asked in a tone of concern. Wei Ching first secretly glanced at the culprit who had just made an intimate contact between his face and the beautiful girl's stockings, with a smile on his face, pretending not to care much. I don't care, Mr. Li Jing. But seeing your sister so energetic, I have some confidence in things like that. As for how to treat Miss Ling's chronic illness, it's just like what was discussed earlier, right? Without giving Lu Jingling a response time, Wei Ching directly stated his intentions and the conditions he had just offered to Lu Zenglanjia. Of course not a problem, if Jenny can really cure Aying's throat disease, not to mention borrowing from Lu Jing's family, it's not a problem for you to become guests of Lu Jing group. Just as Wei Cheng was talking to Lu Zhenglanjia, Lu Zhengling realized that the man who had just been kicked away was hiding a cute gray-haired girl next to him. At this moment, Luo Tian was huddled next to Wei Cheng, secretly looking at Lu Zhengling with a mischievous expression. His cute and shaking head immediately caught the attention of the young lady. Wow! What a lovely girl, what's your name? A glimmer of light flashed through her eyes as Lu Zhengling immediately approached Luo Tianyi, tidied up her clothes, and asked the girl in front of her with a smile. Wei Ching on the side felt a bit awkward. You just kicked me in love, don't ask my name, actually ask Luo Tianyi who is hiding next to you first. Sigh. It seems that whether it's reality or the other world, it's all a society that looks at faces. Whispering silently from the bottom of his heart, Wei Cheng's smile remained unchanged and he said to Lu Jingling. Miss Ling, this is Luo Tianyi, the doctor who will come to treat your throat disease. 
Whether your symptoms can be cured depends on Tiani. Upon hearing Wei Ching mention the topic of medical treatment, a faint hint of sadness flashed in Lu Xingling's beautiful eyes, which happened to reflect in Luo Tiani's eyes. Don't bother, Mr. Wei. My illness cannot be cured. Even if you or Tiani have advanced medical skills, it is useless. There was a smile on her face, but Lu Xingling's tone unconsciously became much more indifferent. She is well aware of her illness. That is a self-destructive decay of the throat, and the vocal cords will degenerate on their own in recent years. No matter how miraculous the medication is, it cannot save her voice. However, Wei Cheng's next sentence brought vitality to this lost girl. What if there is a singer who takes action for you and can awaken your voice with her voice? Upon hearing this, Lu Zhengling raised her head in surprise, her brown hair standing up like an electric shock. After glancing at Wei Cheng for a few moments, she lowered her head again. Thank you for your concern. However, those singers are all busy people traveling around the world. How could they come here when they have time to specifically help me with my illness? Upon hearing this, Wei Cheng's mouth curved slightly, but he stopped speaking and instead patted Luo Tiani's shoulder, indicating that the girl should speak. So, that, although I'm not a singer yet, I can at least manipulate some of my vocal abilities. Can you show me your throat? A word that Luo Tian hesitated and said suddenly made the girl who had originally lowered her head feel a glimmer of hope in her heart. How could it be possible, even if you could manipulate the sound, at most it would be possible to change some special effects, let alone. Just as Lu Zhengling was about to refute, she was stunned by the scene before her. A sky-blue flame suddenly burst out of Luo Tiani's hand, swaying like a campfire, illuminating everything around him. Is that enough, then? Luo Tiani blinked his big green pupils and asked the stunned Lu Xingling. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Impressions You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Impressions How Could You Materialize Sound Energy? Seeing the blue flame burning in Luo Tiani's hand, Lu Zhengling couldn't help but lose her voice and didn't hide her surprise at all. The so dot called sound energy refers to energy particles that float in this world on a daily basis. Only those singers or those who have become potential singers can feel the existence of sound energy. However, even if a potential person can sense sound energy, the sound energy they can manipulate is fundamentally different from that of a real singer. The so dot called singer uses their own singing voice as a medium and transmits their dreams to reality. A singer can manifest sound energy in this world and make it a reality. And for potential singers, although they can also sense sound energy, they only feel it and cannot turn it into concrete things. Just like animation on a mobile phone screen, there is a fundamental difference between the two and real humans that exist in the real world. That's why Lu Xingling was so shocked when she saw the scene where Luo Tiani was able to materialize sound energy. Are you a singer? Or is it some easily disfigured idol? When did he come to our house? Has he done anything strange to you, brother? The red shadow flashed by, and Lu Xingling grabbed Luo Tiani's hand, startling the young girl and extinguishing the flames in her hand. Uh, Tiani is not a singer. She's just a slightly special potential person who wants to see if she can cure your illness. Seeing the excited look on Lu Zhengling's face, the nearby Lu Zhenglanjia couldn't bear to look down and spoke out a reminder. In fact, Longye's heart has also stirred up turbulent waves now. He is also a potential person, and he knows very well how difficult it is to make sound energy substantial. The gray-haired girl in front of him just moved with her heart and condensed a dark flame in her hand. His shock in his heart was probably no less than that of Lu Xingling. At the same time, he also stared at Wei Cheng with a melancholic gaze. Why don't you tell me first that Luo Tiani has the ability to produce sound? Such a sentence seemed to ring in Wei Cheng's ear. All right, let's not talk about what's happening. Tiani, can you help Miss Ling's illness first and see if it can be treated? Wei Cheng's whole body trembled with excitement, afraid to look back at Lu Xinglongya's gaze. He said. 
Although he is a virgin in his twenties, his sexual orientation is still normal. So the group entered Lu Zhengling's room to see if Luo Tiani could treat the girl's throat disease. So. How should I address you? Miss Lu Zhengling. Just call me Aying, don't be so reserved. Wu alright, Aying, then please close your eyes. Next, I want to use sound energy to sense the cause of your illness. Please close your eyes first. Upon hearing this, Lu Zhengling closed her eyes, her pure white arms tightly huddled together with her shoulders, waiting for a diagnosis from Luo Tiani. As the two girls sat still, Wei Cheng was also looking at the young lady's room with an interested expression. He originally thought that since the door was red, the girl's boudoir should also have a bright red configuration. This idea dissipated after Wei Cheng entered the room. The room was not large, with white walls, a rough draft of music scores on the table, and an electronic guitar placed in the corner, all of which showed that the girl in front of her had an extraordinary obsession with music. Especially the music pen placed next to the pillow, and the video of how to play a good guitar while running, both demonstrate Lu Xingling's love for songs. Others may play the guitar just to show off their handsomeness, but this girl, after being diagnosed with the cruel result of not being able to sing, stood up vigorously, picked up the guitar, and tried to walk out of her own music path. Aying. She loves music very much. Unlike me, a half-hearted potential person. Just as Wei Cheng was studying the guitar in front of him, the magnetic voice of Lu Zheng Longya sounded on the side. I saw this handsome young master, with an unprecedented tenderness in his eyes, looking at the red guitar placed in the corner. Aying was once an outstanding potential person. At the age of only eight, she was able to sense the existence of sound energy and try to create her own songs. At that time, she often practiced music in the middle of the night, watching her phone, and was once the most likely rising star of a singer in our family. When the doctor announced that she couldn't sing anymore, I couldn't imagine how painful she felt inside. The words were calm, but Wei Ching caught a glimpse of Lu Xing Longya clenching his fist from the corner of his eye. Obviously, his inner emotions were also extremely unfair. So, I hope you or Tiani can cure her, whether from the perspective of the group or as an elder brother, I look forward to your success. It will succeed. Wei Ching looked at Longya's black pupils and said to him in an unquestionable tone. I believe in Tiani and music. Since Miss Aya has a passion for music, then heaven should not cut off her path to becoming a singer. If there really is a day in this world. At this point, Wei Ching gazed into the void, contemplating his own existence. Yeah. Is there really a day in this world? Who is the one who secretly dominates when they cross over and are implanted into the system? However, before he could finish thinking, Wei Cheng and Long Ye heard a clear song rising from silence and finally lingering throughout the room. E. Every dream is a melody, filled with memories. How to listen. E. Convey the longing in your heart to you, D. E. Let's sing the song in our hearts together, the blue sound field dispersed, and the warm voice echoed throughout the room. Luo Tiani opened her mouth and hummed an unknown melody, stirring up the surrounding sound energy and transforming it into notes surrounding the entire room. And when Luo Tiani sang a few lines, Lu Xingling, who had originally closed her eyes, burst out with a trembling, clear voice, singing along with Luo Tiani. Ling, knocking open a heart door and embarking on an adventure journey towards dreams. Ling, when inspiration dances lightly, the rainbow will pave the way through the clouds. The sky blue sound could surround the entire room and also arouse Long Ye's desire to sing. With his mouth open, he even sang along with Luo Tiani and the others. Yeah. Draw an exclamation mark on each landmark along the way. Teeth. Running towards the other end of the cloud, Wei Cheng stood on the side with a smile on his face, watching the three of them falling into the midst of singing. Even if he didn't know the name of this song, Wei Ching vaguely felt that this song should be one of the earliest songs created by Luo Tiani. Sincere emotions, with pristine and pure singing, resounded all around. 
it seems like there's a solution. Although Wei Cheng was unable to sense sound energy, at the moment Luo Tianyi spoke, he felt an invisible energy gathering in the air and injecting it into Lu Xunling's throat. The Lu Xun Longya on the side is no exception. However, what surprised him was that as the mysterious energy entered Wei Cheng's throat, it seemed to collide with an invisible barrier and could never get close to him. Just like declaring that one is not qualified to sing. He he, that's all. As long as she can guard by her side and not sing, what about that? Wei Cheng was first surprised for a moment, then smiled freely and immersed himself in the sea of sounds interwoven by the three people's singing. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Care You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Care When Ru's unique voice, paired with clear high notes, occasionally mixed with a few sexy low notes, makes a song reappear under the leadership of Luo Tiani. And when the song is finished, the melody seems to linger between the beams for a long time. Ha! Huh. Wei Cheng, what are you doing? However, after seeing Wei Cheng's actions, Luo Tiani curiously asked and broke this artistic conception. I saw Wei Cheng holding a guitar, humming the melody he had just played, and his five fingers flicking the chords, repeating the previous melody, creating an image of a distant and never dot ending singing voice. Oh. Oh oh. Me. I was just thinking that Tiani, you sing so beautifully, but I don't have any music equipment in my hand. I can only use this primitive way to record the melody, borrow the guitar. Shouldn't I be angry, Miss Ling? Seeing Wei Cheng holding her beloved guitar, Lu Zhengling was surprised not to have any bad mood. Instead, she tilted her lips and said with a cunning look. The answer depends on whether Tiani's treatment is effective or not. It is obvious that this young lady has improved her mood a lot after experiencing the music washing just now. Otherwise, in the previous mood of Lu Zhengling, if she saw someone touching her instrument without permission, she would probably have fucked it directly. How could she have given Wei Ching time to defend herself? Wei Ching clearly recognized the importance of this guitar to Lu Zhengling from the other party's words. He chuckled and quickly used gentle force to return the guitar to its original position. Aying, there's something I need to tell you. Although I did successfully inject sound into your throat just now and slow down the process of vocal cord fragility. However, if you want to sing like before, you still need some conditions. Although Luo Tiani's voice was not loud, for Lu Jingling, it was like a fairy voice at this moment, making the girl immediately turn back. If there are any conditions, just say them. Lu Jingling's eyes sparkled with anticipation for the future. The music road, which was originally believed to have been abandoned, now once again opened the door to her, causing Lu Jingling to fall into an unprecedented excitement. If she could pick up her singing voice and sing again, she would be willing to do anything. That's. Even though the defect in your throat is covered by sound energy, it must take some time to recover. In the past year, you still cannot make too high a sound, otherwise the accumulated sound energy will pass and cause irreversible damage to the vocal cords. If that's the case, then there's no problem. Lu Jingling patted her underdeveloped chest, indicating that she could fully accept this condition. However, seeing Luo Tiani stuttering a bit, he continued to say. But not only that, there is a second condition. Oh. What conditions, tell me, Mississippi? I saw Luo Tiani seemingly making up his mind, lifting his shoulders and announcing to everyone present. Since I am the one who infuses sound energy, I must always be by your side and never leave. At the same time, you also need to take care of me so that I won't go hungry, so that the supply of sound energy won't stop. Wei Cheng was stunned. Long Ye was stunned. Lu Jingling was not stunned, but pretended to pat Luo Tiani's shoulder heavily and confidently said. Take care of it. No problem, no matter what you want to eat, I'll take care of everything. Brother, come on, money. Lu Longya's face twitched as he silently took out a stack of banknotes from his pocket and handed them to his sister. Shu. Immediately after, 
Lu Xingling turned into a red light and led Luo Tiani out of the room to search for food outside. Tiani, don't go crazy eating, remember to come back early. Wei Cheng, standing beside him, suddenly thought of something. As he shouted out these words, the two young girls had already disappeared without a trace. Shouldn't you worry. Although Aying has been a bit reckless, she's not the kind of person who doesn't know how to control herself. She still estimates time. Le Jing Longya next to him saw Wei Cheng's anxious expression and spoke out to persuade him, but he saw Wei Cheng shake his head helplessly. What worries me is not Miss Ling, but Tiani. Hmm. Le Jing Longya, you don't know the horror of Luo Tiani. If she takes it seriously, it's possible that a snack street will be swept away. I even doubt whether the money you just gave your sister is enough. Wei Ching smiled bitterly and briefly shared his previous experiences with Longya. Recalling the journey I took with Luo Tiani to the Baozi shop before carrying out the mission, it is still an unforgettable day for Wei Ching. A hundred big buns. It disappeared in just half an hour. If it weren't for Wei Cheng's semi-coercive pull of Tiani to leave, I'm afraid the ingredients in the steamed bun shop would have been eaten clean by one person that day. After listening to Wei Cheng's tragic experience, Lu Zheng Longya immediately panicked and waved his hand. The butler who had just stood in front of the door appeared in front of the two of them. Lu Zheng Longya took out a black card from his mouth and handed it to the butler with a serious expression, saying earnestly. Uncle Chen, could you please bring this card and follow Aying? I understand. Just finished listening to Wei Cheng's tragic situation, the butler didn't understand the seriousness of the matter. He immediately turned into a shadow and went to the side of Lu Jingling, who had just left the house. And Lu Jinglong's teeth wiped a cold sweat and looked at Wei Cheng. You didn't tell me earlier that Tiani's appetite is so terrifying. You didn't tell me either. You just knocked on the door and you would be kicked away by eyeing. We're each other. There seemed to be a firelight emerging between the two big men. Finally, it was a bitter smile from Lu Zheng Longya that broke the awkward silence. Although I promised you before that as long as eyeing is cured, the Lu Zheng family will be responsible for your and Tiani's daily life, now it seems that this promise can only be fulfilled halfway. Lu Xing Longya originally thought that adopting Tiani and Wei Cheng was just an additional accommodation for two people, but as a result, Luo Tiani alone could cover the food expenses of more than ten strong men. I understand. In that case, what do you think of this proposal? Wei Cheng let out a sigh of relief, able to understand Longya's struggles. After all, regardless of Longya's character, it is inevitable that he will be dissatisfied with himself after just seeing Luo Tiani's appetite. This is also the reason why Wei Cheng did not say in advance that tomorrow depends on food intake. If I had told Le Zheng Longya from the beginning that Tiani had an almost bottomless appetite, I'm afraid this young master would just treat them as troublemakers and drive them out of the house, thus making the opportunity to contact Le Zheng Ling come to nothing. Therefore, Wei Cheng proposed another proposal here. Can I be the security guard of your Lu Jing family and responsible for the safety of the young lady? Security. Yeah, as long as you don't eat for free and are responsible for Miss Ling's safety, it's easier for you to accept, right? Wei Ching thought to himself that if he wanted to protect Luo Tiani, it might be a good choice to sneak into Lu Jing's house and become a security guard. However, he saw Lu Jinglong's eyebrows furrow and his knuckles lightly tapping on the table, looking hesitant. What? Brother Longya, doesn't he trust my strength? The strength I just demonstrated in front of Manager Chen is not enough to be competent for the position of security guard. Seeing Longya's reaction, Wei Cheng's face turned a little black. Previously entering the Lijing family, Wei Cheng simply ran over the martial arts butler surname Chen with his imposing demeanor. Surprisingly, this level did not meet the standards of a Lijing family security guard. No, it's not like that. Brother Wei, with your abilities, serving as the security guard of the Lu Jing family is far beyond my expectations. However, if you are responsible for eyeing safety, you may have a conflict with that person. 
When Le Zheng Longye said this, his voice deliberately lowered, as if afraid of being heard. However, just as Wei Cheng was preparing to take the conversation, a hearty laugh came from upstairs. Ha ha. Longye. Don't hide it. Since Mr. Wei has cured Aying's throat disease, I, as the head of the family, won't even refuse this favor. If you want to be a security guard, let's go through the old man's hurdle first. Father. Lu Zhenglanjia couldn't help but exclaim in surprise, his eyes piercing as he looked towards the top of the building. I saw a white bearded man wearing purple clothes standing on the rooftop, looking down at the two of them from a high position. And next to the man, there was a man in red who was watching Wei Cheng with great interest. His voice just now clearly came from him. Are you the head of the Lijing family? Do you mean to defeat you by passing your level? Wei Cheng looked at the two figures on the rooftop and found that his eyes were slightly tingling as he only stared at them. This convinced him that the person standing on the rooftop definitely possessed excellent martial arts skills, at least not on the same level as the steward surnamed Chen who had just taken over. However, the man in red shook his head, his figure flickered, and he disappeared directly from the rooftop. No, to become a security guard, one must pass a series of tests in order to become the central force of the Lijing family. Can Mr. Wei have the confidence to pass the tests? The sound came from my ear, and the man in red was no longer on the rooftop. Instead, he walked out from beside Wei Cheng and Longya, silently moving as if in an instant. Of course I have confidence. It's better to say that if Mr. Lijing easily makes me a security guard, I would actually feel worried about the safety of this family. Upon hearing Wei Cheng's words, the head of the Lu Jing family smiled. You have confidence. Good, great. In that case, Longya, you can help Mr. Wei prepare. Whether he can pass the test depends on his own abilities. After speaking, the head of the Lu Jing family and the mysterious purple robed man disappeared out of thin air, as if they had never appeared here before. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Swordsmanship. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Swordsmanship Le Zheng Longya felt very confused. He feels like he's not doing well anymore. He originally thought that apart from his often disappearing cheap father, no one else could use a magical power similar to instant movement, but what just happened before him made him have to believe his father's move was copied by Wei Cheng. I said, is that enough? I saw Wei Ching move his joints in his arms and walk down from a security guard. His huge body was thrown to the ground by the seemingly powerless palm, as if throwing a sandbag. Upon seeing this scene, Longya's lips involuntarily twitched. Congratulations. I didn't expect you to actually achieve victory in a 1 to 10 state. The so dot called security test was what Lu Xingjie said at the time. As long as Mr. Wei can defeat our Lijing family's bodyguards in a dozen or ten situation, I will make an exception and make you a close guard of Aying. At the time of hearing this sentence, Lu Zhenglanjia thought that his father was making things difficult for Wei Cheng. They are the bodyguards of the Lijing family, but they are different from the butlers. They are the kind of elites who have undergone extensive training and have emerged from the army. Even Lijing Longya, who has been practicing martial arts since childhood, can only draw with one bodyguard in a one dot on point one situation at most. As a result, Wei Ching defeated dozens of bodyguards directly in front of him and Lu Xingjie, taking less than a minute, which was extremely terrifying. What's even more frightening is that when Wei Ching took action, Long Ye didn't even notice how he moved. The bodyguards only felt a flash in front of them, and were instantly killed by Wei Cheng who was close in front of them. Lu Zhenglanjia asked himself, if Wei Cheng Gang had just had the intention to take action against him, his fate would never be much better than those examiners who came to test. Ha <laughs> ha. It's really exciting. I just wanted to test Mr. Wei's combat power, but I didn't expect you to defeat the ten elites in our dark department with just a raise of your hand, and even learn the instant steps I just used. It's truly a remarkable talent. Wearing a red robe, Lu Zhengjie was not displeased when he saw Wei Cheng learn his own moves. Instead, 
he was pleasantly surprised by his amazing learning ability to immediately comprehend and apply instant steps in practical combat. I have made a fool of myself. Master, since I have met the conditions, will I be the bodyguard of the Lusion group from now on? Wei Ching put down his sleeves and helped up the strong men who had just been knocked down by him. With a gentle but sharp gaze, he looked at the head of the Lu Xing family in front of him. Of course. I, Lu Xingjie, keep my word. From now on, you will be our family's bodyguard. Regarding the safety of Miss Luo Tiani and Aying, I trouble you. Lu Xingjie, with strands of beard, looked at Wei Cheng with an appreciative gaze, surprised by his combat prowess. Even if I personally take action, I can't solve the elite among the ten bodyguards in such a short time. But Wei Ching Gang solved it with a clean and neat manner, which also shocked him a lot. Lu Xingjie originally thought that Wei Cheng's combat power should be similar to that of his own personal guards, on the same level as Dragon Fang. Now it seems that this evaluation needs to be further elevated. However, just as Lu Xingjie was thinking about how to place Wei Cheng, the man in purple, who had been silent all along, suddenly stood up next to him. Hi. Ajai, the fight just now made me itch. Can I compete with this little friend? The man had his hands behind his back, and when he stood up, his originally inconspicuous figure appeared somewhat majestic. And this man's action also made Wei Ching feel a chill in his heart, feeling an unprecedented sense of oppression. Even when he just faced those ten bodyguards, it did not bring him this feeling. Isn't that good? Lao Wu, you usually practice martial arts. Although Mr. Wei is powerful, how can he compare with you? He he, just give it a try. And I have a premonition that this kid will bring me unexpected surprises. Upon hearing this, Wei Ching felt a bit uneasy at the corner of his eyes. Kid. Um, although I'm not very old, I'm also an adult over twenty years old. How could this man in front of me call me a kid? Isn't it? Uncle Yen, are you going to take action? Lu Xing Longya, standing beside him, couldn't help but exclaim in shock when he saw the man in purple standing up. Yen Wu, the director of the Yen Family Martial Arts School, is a good friend of Lu Xingjie and has close dealings with the Lu Xing group. Such a great figure was looking at Wei Cheng with an eager expression at the moment. Since that's the case, I'll ask for your guidance, senior. Upon hearing this, Wei Cheng did not refuse, but instead clasped his fists and saluted the man in purple. Although he did not know Yen Wu's identity, when he saw that the other party had such a close relationship with the head of the Lijian group, he must also be a prominent figure with extraordinary background and need to be treated with caution. Moreover, regardless of Yen Wu's identity, the sense of threat he brought to Wei Ching just now was enough to make Wei Ching fully respond. Upon seeing this scene, Lu Xingjie beside him could only smile bitterly and ordered the servants to help down the bodyguards who had just been knocked down by Wei Ching, leaving the stage for Wei Ching and Yen Wu. In an instant, the originally scattered stage was left with only Wei Ching and Yen Wu. At this moment, Yen Wu was dressed in a purple outfit. The sleeves he had originally put down had already been rolled up, revealing his strong arms as thick as the mouth of a bowl. The previously restrained momentum spread out, instantly filling the entire stage with a fiery sense of war. Mr. Wei, Yen Wu is a strong expert in disaster situations and one of the top high-dot-level martial artists in China. If you feel that your strength is insufficient, don't force yourself. Lu Xingjie stood below the stage, reminding him so. Don't worry, Ajai. Mr. Wei and I are just sparring and won't really work hard. Just watch from the side. Upon hearing Lu Xingjie's words, Yen Wu responded with a burst of laughter, while using his sharp gaze to look at Wei Cheng who had put on a pose. Then. Let's get started. In an instant, the two people standing on the stage turned into light disappeared. Lu Xing Longya exclaimed in surprise. No, it's not disappearing. Lu Xingjie squinted his eyes, with a stream of light flashing through his black-brown pupils, and saw the two of them fighting. 
I saw Wei Cheng and Yen Wu taking instant steps, exchanging hands at an extremely fast speed. Due to their fast movements, there were remnants that turned into light. However, just as Le Jingjie wanted to see their movements clearly, a shockwave suddenly spread from the stage, and the two figures landed at both ends of the stage, clearly the two who had just clashed. Ha ha ha. Great. I'm very satisfied, old man. Yan Wu stroked his short beard and looked at Wei Cheng with a smile, then uttered words that surprised both of the onlookers. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Warriors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Warriors, thank you for your mercy, Taoist. Otherwise, my arm wouldn't have been safe just now. The blurted words stunned Lu Jingjie in the audience. The person with a broken arm is not Wei Cheng, but Yan Wu. For a moment, Lu Jingjie felt like his head was a bit insufficient. I should be grateful to Master Yan Wu. If you hadn't stopped in time, my chest would have been pierced by you long ago, right? Faced with Yan Wu's praise, Wei Cheng arched his hand and had no self proclaimed invincibility. Well, there's no need to be humble. At that time, although my hand hit your chest, a red shadow wrapped around my arm first. Before I put an effort, I'm afraid my entire arm would be useless. It was my younger generation's impoliteness to use weapons without authorization. No, no, no. There is no rule that weapons cannot be used, and besides, you just click, stop at me. It can be said that I owe you a favor. At this moment, the two people below were shocked to see a faint red mark on Yen Wu's sturdy right arm, which was clearly Wei Cheng's masterpiece in the confrontation. Unexpectedly, Wei Cheng was able to meet Uncle Yen and receive such an evaluation from him. Le Xing Longye murmured to himself, looking at his father in shock. Who is Yen Wu? Yen Wu is a powerful figure in the entire China who is qualified to compete in the martial arts ranking, and can be said to be a martial arts master. Although there must have been some water released just now, Wei Cheng surprisingly forced this master to step back just now. What is the extent of his own strength? However, while Lu Zenglanjia was still holding a respectful and fearful attitude towards Wei Cheng, he was secretly calling for luck. Fortunately, he just wrapped the soul lock around him in time, otherwise Wei Cheng would have had no time to dodge at the speed of his attack just now. By the way, this old man is also too scary. Leaving aside the steel-like wrist and the mysterious energy gathered by Yen Wu during his actions, Wei Cheng immediately confirmed something. That is, in this world, there are mostly warriors. Thank you very much for your guidance, Master Yen. I have a few questions that I would like to ask. Wei Ching arched his hand and looked straight as he asked the smiling old man in front of him. May I ask if there is any existence of martial arts in this world? Upon hearing Wei Cheng's words, Yan Wu first showed a shocked expression and then looked at him with a strange expression. Wei Dao Yu, didn't you know that ten years ago, sound energy could be converted into martial arts? What? Sound can be converted into martial arts. Wei Ching couldn't help but exclaim in a lost voice. It seems that Taoist friends are not lying, they really don't know about this matter. Anyway, in the martial arts world, this is also a well-known thing. Let me explain it to Taoist friends. Yan Wu carefully examined Wei Cheng's expression and couldn't see any signs of disguise. Obviously, Wei Cheng really didn't know about this matter. So the old man transformed into a doctor wearing glasses and began to explain to Wei Cheng the relationship between sound ability and martial arts. Wei Dao Yu should know that in the early 20th century, there was a great explosion of sound energy, right? Wei Cheng nodded. Since the outbreak of sound energy, it has flowed into the space between heaven and earth, transforming the entire world. As is known to the outside world, those who are bathed by sound have a very small probability of becoming potential singers, or even becoming singers. However, this is only a minority. In fact, most humans who are bathed by sound have not awakened to become singers, 
but have transformed the mysterious energy between heaven and earth into a power that can be used by humans. Speaking of which, Yen Wu smiled and continued. Wei Dao Yu should have noticed just now that I am injecting a special force into my arm, right? That is the power called Qi, which is converted from sound energy. This Qi can be applied to many purposes. Some people develop various abilities due to contact with Qi, and the So. called Warrior is one of these people. After listening, Wei Cheng's expression gradually became more exciting. Even without the need for explanation from Yen Wu, during the recent confrontation with the opponent, Wei Ching noticed that their body seemed to be covered with a thin film, which dissipated most of the shock waves of their attacks and made their attacks invisible before hitting Yen Wu. And after absorbing the impact, that energy will also devour a part of its own strength and strike at its weak points. If it weren't for Wei Cheng's sudden sacrifice of the soul lock, he would have been defeated by Master Yen. By the way, Wei Daoyu, since you have such a strong body technique, are you interested in going to a place where you can work part? Time and also protect Aying and Tiani. When Wei Cheng was contemplating how the other party had achieved the defense just now, Yen Wu suddenly changed the topic. Indeed, it would be wasteful for someone as special as Mr. Wei to stay at our Lijing family as a bodyguard. It's better to go to the Yin Xing Academy and see if they can become teaching staff there, which can also be considered a stable income. Besides, my daughter is also there, so I can just ask a Taoist friend to take care of her. Yen Wu nodded along. Since both of you said that, Wei naturally listened attentively. May I ask what kind of place is the Yin Xing Academy? Seeing that Wei Qing did not immediately reject it, Lo Zhengjie smiled slightly and was about to say the next thing buzz. A sharp sound came, and the token placed on the waist of Lu Zhengjie and Yan Wu suddenly shook violently, causing the expressions of the two elders to suddenly change. Sorry, Wei Daoyu. Ajai and I have an urgent matter to deal with, so we won't spend more time together. The kind old man who originally looked smiling no longer had a smile on his face. Yen Wu took out a green token from his pocket and collided with the red token in Lu Zhengjie's hand, nodding to each other. Longya, could you please explain the following matters to Mr. Wei? Lao Wu and I have an important matter to attend to, and we won't be able to have dinner with you and Aying tonight. Lu Zhengjie looked solemnly at the token in his hand, and then followed Yen Wu to cover the token on his face. Brush. A magical thing has happened. When the token touched the faces of the two elderly men, it turned into a red and green mask, which they put on their faces. At the same time, the bodies of Lu Zhengjie and Yen Wu were also enveloped by mysterious flashes of light, and the surrounding sound could form a barrier between them, instantly transforming into pure energy that could be used by warriors. Cayman Rider Wei Ching exclaimed in surprise. However, ignoring Wei Cheng's surprise, Yen Wu nodded at Lu Zhengjie and said. The singer in the F area has an accident, let's go. In front of Wei Cheng, take a step into the air. With just one step, Yen Wu's figure was shattered and he instantly soared to a height of tens of Zhang, shouting at Lu Zhengjie. Jie, let's go. When Yen Wu flew into the sky, Lu Zhengjie, who was wearing a red mask, nodded and turned into a red light. He instantly retreated to the ground and headed in a certain direction. The two elderly men were in a dazed state as Wei Cheng merged with heaven and earth, and left in an instant, leaving behind Long Ye and Wei Cheng who were glaring at each other. Ah! Dad has left like this again, can't we leave more time? Forget it. Le Zheng Long Ye straightened his small braids that had been blown by the wind, and with a sunny smile, he said to Wei Cheng. Wei Cheng, since you have become the bodyguard of the Lijing family, may I introduce you to the Lijing family? So Wei Cheng began his first day as a bodyguard. Thank you for the three recommended tickets from my book friend Nan Pe Cheng, the two recommended tickets from my book friend Chasing Lights Youth, and the friends I collected before. Thank you. End of this chapter.